ISRO has uh, successfully injected the Chandrayaan-3 spacecraft into the translunar orbit. That's right, it's officially on its way to the moon. After completing its orbits around the Earth, Chandrayaan-3 bid farewell to planet Earth and is now cruising towards the moon. The mission control team made it happen with a successful Perigi firing maneuver. So Chandrayaan-3 is now on the lunar transfer trajectory and it's set on the course to reach the orbit of the moon. The next key step is on August 5th when Chandrayaan-3 will be inserted into the orbit of the moon. Now, ISRO will have to perform a series of maneuvers to bring Chandrayaan-3 to the lunar orbit. A soft landing is planned on the lunar surface on 23rd August. My colleague Deepak is joining me on the phone line to help us with details. Deepak, indeed, it's a big success for ISRO as it has injected the Chandrayaan-3 spacecraft into the trans-lunar orbit. Give us more details. Yes, definitely. Uh, this is a very important maneuver and it has been successfully done uh, by our scientists. Uh, and of course, all the monitoring ha has been happening in each track, Bengaluru. This is the latest that we're picking up. Now, as far as uh, for the viewers to understand, uh, you know, the uh, importance of today's, uh, you know, move, uh, we should note that after it was put into the Earth's orbit, uh, it was uh, moving around the Earth for several days now uh, uh, to be more precise in an electrical orbit. And now this uh, translunar injection has happened essentially. This is a project where the satellite, of course, has to land on the moon, and this is a phase where it now moves towards the moon, and now it will start to, uh, after about five days, once it reaches the moon's orbit, we are expecting it to begin, uh, you know, orbiting uh, the, uh, you know, the moon, after which it will gradually move closer, and once it reaches the desired height, then we'll look at the descent that will really happen. On the 23rd of August, we're expecting you know, the entire process of landing or a soft landing uh, to be, uh, you know, initiated. And that is, of course, going to be something that all Indians and the scientists, especially at ISRO, will be watching out for. 